you can see the deployment is continuing it is packaging and deploying our application to sap cloud foundry environment it is also creating behind the scene all the backing services like html5 repo host repo runtime all the necessary destination and connectivity backing services are also getting created automatically for the web application so as you can see now the deployment has been finished over here and our application has been started in the web you can also see the url of the application is displayed over here which you can use control key on your keyboard and click on this and then you can click on open so now when you click on open the application will start in the web version remember for the web version we will not have any kind of uh, any kind of uh, offline capability you can see application data service has been initialized and just one button we have got of course this is not a radical application but it's good start for us to create our first mdk app which is very much empty we just a kind of a hello world and it has also created the data store now that was the web application part but the most importantly why are we doing mdk development is to run our app in the mobile phone so now we need to onboard our application in the mobile phone and for that you need to go back to the application dot app and here you see the application qr codes so we click on this button and this will open us open for us the the qr code for both android as well as ios which we can scan to be able to test this application in the mobile phone so now as part of the onboarding process we are on the google play store and you can see there is a application provided by sap called sap mobile service client so we can just click on that and install this application sap mobile service client to my device so that we can onboard and test our first mdk application on my mobile phone so you can see i am just installing this sap mobile service client default application and let's open the same we click on allow accept the license agreement and now we can go ahead and scan the barcode which we have got for our app so i will start the scan and i say yes while using this app and let me scan the barcode perfect you can see scan is successful i click on continue it will redirect me to the sap btp cloud foundry login page where i will enter my credentials for my btp account click on continue and then it will ask me to take me to sap identity provider to authenticate myself at this point i will pause my screen to provide my password on sap idp screen okay i provided the password and now we can just click on sign in you can see i'm connecting and signing in and this will complete the signing process and it should launch our application in my mobile device it is asking me to set up a password code so let me just set up a eight character password code just a simple number and biometric authentication and you can see my app is now automatically updating to my mobile phone so please update and you can see my name is anubhav the button which we created in our application and the application is also now synchronizing everything from the server and it will get automatically updated fantastic so that's our first mobile mdk application live in action in both mobile phone 
as well as as a web application. This is the complete process of building your first MDK application with SAP Business Application Studio on Business Technology Platform. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Thank you so much for joining this session today. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. If you want to know the latest on MDK, don't forget to click the bell icon on the channel. Once again, thank you so much for joining this demo session of, of SAP MDK development. For complete training on SAP MDK, please feel free to check the link of the course in the description. And I will catch you up in my next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye.